it was very different, you know, coming from America to Ghana in general, it's culture shock. It's a lot of stuff that's different. But in another way, it was heartwarming because I saw so many of people that look like me, so many people, like I saw myself in people. And so um, from the Christ Christian aspect, the faith that is in Ghana, though, they believe different, they believe hard. It's a lot different than American culture. I think it's important to have experiences outside of what you know, outside of your comfort zone. And so part of growing up into the real world is doing things that make you uncomfortable so you can find your way in the world. So I felt going into another country, having this experience of being far away from my parents, from everything that I know, having one other person there that I really unlike, actually know, that was a good experience for me to understand how who I am when I'm by myself. Out of all of those experiences, which one do you look back on do you think formed you a little bit more? Asen Manso, the, uh, the walk that the slaves took to the dungeon, for sure. Um, we had our, our host, I believe his name was Kufi, and he told us that he was a very spiritual man. Um, he taught us a prayer to do while we were in the river. You take water, you wipe it on your eyes, ask God for clear sight. He put a dot of clay on our foreheads. That's our third eye for wisdom, for sight. Um, we wiped our mouths so that everything that we speak, it be true. Um, while on the walk, he asked us to take somebody with us that we did not get a chance to thank. He made, it, he made it very clear that we needed to thank our ancestors for everything they did for us to be here. And so I believe a week and a half prior to me going on this trip, one of my cousins passed on my birthday. And so it was very important for me to take him on this trip with me because I didn't get a chance to thank him. He told us to walk barefoot, remove our, our shoes, our hats, our glasses, our socks, so that we walked it the way that the slaves did. That right there put everything in perspective. I mean, everything. We don't have any of the privilege that we have nowadays. We walk like the slaves did.